How's everyone doing? everyone tuning in from today. Good to see a few familiar faces back here in the chat. Missouri. Yeah. The volume is a little low. Is that my volume or the game volume, mate? Two seconds. I'll bump myself up a bit. Pennsylvania. Whereabouts in Pennsylvania? see how that goes. I think that'll get us up a bit. Alright, we good. Now we've got to sneak past Snape here. Professor McGonagall's in the chat. Mr. Potter! Bring the mic a bit close to me, and I'll turn the game sound down. How's that, everyone? We good? Oh, Shiza, that's not going to get me there. Well, well, well. We are in trouble now, aren't we? Oh, Harry! Oh, for God's sake. Breaking the school... I love how neither of them actually, like, they just kind of put me back about five meters away. They don't take me back to the school and actually do their job. Alright. These stealth missions are always a bit of a pain in the bum. Gotta wait so we can get this invisibility cloak. Ah, thanks for the follow there, TG Jurassic. Alright, where are we going here? He's going this way. We've just got to wait for Filchy. Ah, Perth. Someone from Perth. Nice. Uh, a 
Aminos Prime, I can see your comments, mate. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, yeah, I put the game over thumbnail as the, um, we saw it a fair few times last time. Why am I in the Forbidden Forest? I'm trying to sneak around these bozos. We gotta unlock this door. Can I please do chips or crisps companies? Um, yeah. Look, I'm not gonna do as many. I've been hammering the houses pretty hard, uh, but I will still do them. I just don't want to, it to overstay its welcome too much. No, I haven't played the PC version, but um, an awesome fan is actually sending me a copy um, and because he wants me to play it on stream so I am getting sent a copy of the PC version um, so we can we can try and stream that I've just got to figure out how to actually get it up and running on my computer Who's there? got McGonagall after me now too I hear some someone dilly dallying behind me So let's jump up here. Dear, dear, Mr. Oh my Martin. God. War for frame? What's war for frame, mate? Yeah, it doesn't make sense why half the staff are in the for in the forest. Yeah, it's really nice of them to send that out to me. I'm very flattered by that. They obviously have held on to it for quite some time, so I, the PC version of this came out oh what? Twenty years ago now? Yeah, I had a good weekend, mate. How's your weekend? Thanks for asking. Went out to a couple of, couple of comedy gigs last night in Melbourne at the last night of the comedy festival. So I have a, a big black bags under my eyes. <laughs> I've had about five hours sleep. Yeah, you can borrow my jokes, no worries, mate. I love seeing people quote these videos. Oh, sitcoms for the next Hog Hogwarts houses. That's a good idea. What's everyone's favourite sitcom here? We've got, we got Friends, we've got Big Bang Theory, Seinfeld, How I Met Your Mother, The Office. I'm definitely a Seinfeld. Right now, this is how we open the last door. We've got to get around this side and hit the other switch. Someone's been shagging my cat. With Aussie Man. Um, I was in the same room as Aussie Man once. I don't even know if that qualifies as a name drop, <laughs> but uh, I was. Um, I'd, if if any of any of you have seen my second channel, Goodall and Gallagher, we were actually in a um, a sketch comedy series called The Slot. It's on Foxtel in Australia, and um, oh fuck, he's gonna see me. And uh, there was a bunch of kind of YouTubers and and. Um, online uh, comedians and he was he was there I, I didn't get a chance to talk to him but I um, had a chat with Superwog and uh, Frenchy and a bunch of other uh, Auntie Donna and a bunch of other big people trailer park boys you know that's that's a film that's a show uh, that is a big gap in my knowledge everyone's always recommending it to me 
and I've never watched it. I think my favourite modern, uh, I don't even know if you qualify it as modern because it's been off the air now, but um, Peep Show is probably one of my favourite sitcoms. It's a British comedy, it's really good. in there we can't get through this gate yet did Hagrid see Harry's little wand he's always seeing Hagrid, Harry's little wand I don't know how he still works at the school I think we got to go this way this yeah. pressure pack has a different image on it and there are no objects to charm be Cornelius Fudge. He's the Minister of Magic. <laughs> my dad's boss. Quiet, Ron. Look at it from my point of view, Albus. I'm under a lot of pressure. Got to be seen to be doing something. If it turns out it wasn't Hagrid, he'll be back and no more said. So, where am I going? You'll only be going for a short stretch, Hagrid. It's not a punishment more a precaution if someone oh, else hi, Dylan. Caught, good to see you again mate you'll be let out with a full apology not Azkaban come along now Hagrid if anyone wanted to find out some <laughs> stuff all they'd have to do would be to follow the I spiders. love how the Sadly, game makers right. didn't actually That's animate this scene they obviously didn't want no, to make the model the for Cornelius Fudge so they just them. like let's just have right. the voices inside be careful, the hut Harry. I'll go and tell Hermione what we've heard. I don't know why they change stuff for the games either. Like, why doesn't Ron go with him? Mystic Gamer, good to see you again, mate. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. We got a tattoo of Mob from Mob Psycho. Yeah, nice. Send us a picture of it on Instagram. I mean, it would be much more fun if we got to drive the car there. But, you know, maybe we'll get to drive it on the way out like the movie. said that all right let's do this are you uh, scared of spiders are you mate well you might want to uh, avoid this section then these uh, spiders shoot jizz in them, apparently so they're even worse than normal spiders Give it a second. The um the the chat thing I'm using it's kind of combining a, um the chat from um, Twitch and uh, YouTube. It takes a, se a few seconds for your comment to show up. Some of these sound effects are very sus. Obviously, Nintendo aren't too happy about his uh, his spell casting. What have we got here? There's nothing here. Right, well, 
let's go back and see what was that other way. Maybe there's something good back there. You're from New York, Joey. Whereabouts in New York you're from, mate? I love New York. Been there a few times. Other doors to make a potion. See, someone's played this game before. I mean, if we're going into a boss battle, we might want that potion. What do you think? What? There we are. Mate, no need to apologise. Just uh, happy you're here. Thanks for joining us. Alright, I'm glad we went back that way because uh, those two spiders jizzed on my face and uh, knocked down my health quite a lot. I mean, it's probably an alcoholic drink, the potions. Stand where I point, look upon the waterfall, and you shall see the light. Stand where I point, look upon... Yet to play Elden Ring. I want to. Oh, jeez. Well, that's why they sent him to jail if he's roofing potions. You can hear me but can't watch at the moment. That's fair. I'm glad you're still with us, even though you're scared of spiders. Oh shit. Alright, that was not smart. Stand where I point. Look upon the ward. Yeah, I know that. You need some earmuffs, mate. You'll be describing that to a psychiatrist in a few years. Alright, here we go. The key is not to jump on the invisible bridge. There we are. Madame Pomfrey. Yeah, Madame Pomfrey, I've got to do... And um, everyone pointed out last time that I haven't actually done a Flitwick uh, episode, so that is a massive oversight by me. Considering how many videos I've done now, I'm surprised I haven't put Flitwick in any. I've already got a couple planned. Um, Great, mate. How are you doing? I can't see anything, mate. The 
It's your birthday on the 3rd. Oh, so close to the 4th of May. And the 2nd is Harry Potter Day. Yeah, definitely buy Hogwarts Legacy, man. Oh. <laughs> it's a great game. I had a lot of fun with it. And the story was surprisingly good. I, I've got my problems with it. It's, you can definitely tell it's kind of fan fiction, really, but I thought it was a good story. I think my main problem with it is the way they kind of deal with Professor Fig. Kind of introduce him as like a Dumbledore-esque character. I won't spoil anything as to where it goes, but... It, he just kind of disappears for large periods of time in the game and it's not really present so I don't really know why they had you spend so much time with that character at the start of the game if that's what they were going to do because um, I, I was quite invested I liked that character and then he's just a terrible teacher that just takes massive vacations from the uh, school for no reason alright so the camera here is absolutely cooked <laughs> so let's see how we go so are these guys trolls or are they just from like an opeth concert or something what's going on here troll in the dungeon It was only a joke. Well, I hope you appreciated the long-winded uh, reply. Would I recommend playing this game? Uh, <laughs> would I recommend playing this game? Yes, it's fun. It still holds up. The camera, like I said, the camera's a little bit janky here and there, but um, I'm I'm having fun with it. If you're a Harry Potter completionist, I think you'll uh, you'll enjoy it. It's definitely more playable than Philosopher's Stone. Uh, but if, you, if you're kind of craving an old Harry Potter game, um, I prefer the janky graphics of the PS1 games, but uh, I dare say the, P, the PC games play a lot better. Um, they're, they're a lot better. They're a lot better made. What's Baz's biggest fear? Uh, his biggest fear is that someone will think he's from New Zealand and not from Australia. That's his biggest fear. Did he just say that somebody bummed him? get past these heavy metal guys and get out of this buddy uh, well I thought they were largely the same game the PC and the and the PS1 uh, the PC definitely has significantly better graphics um, but I kind of I like the PS1 graphics I find there's a certain era of graphics that hasn't aged that well and um, the PC games are obviously going for a slightly more realistic look, but I think it makes their characters look even more terrifying. Whereas these are kind of cartoonish versions of the characters. All right, here we go. This is the Aragog fight. <laughs> Isn't that every Aussie sphere? I think so. Well, the weird thing is, whenever I go overseas, people think I'm... Like, well, I actually was born in England, but people think I have an English accent. <laughs> Who is it? I'm a friend of Hagrid's. Huh? Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I came. In trouble? But why has he sent you? They've taken him to Azkaban. They think he set a monster on students. Piss off, Andrew Garfield. I come from a distant land. A 
traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. Where? He cared for me, Hagrid. kept me Where in the is Hagrid? and fed me. When I was blamed for the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. We don't speak its name. Okay, I'll just go then. Go? I think not. Hagrid sent me a tasty meal. Alright, if there's anyone who's arachnophobic, uh... Is, is, uh, is fucking me up. Alright, so we gotta fuck up his nest. The classic scene in the Harry Potters where uh, he shoots at sticks to beat Aragog. Everyone remembers this scene. spiders at me, isn't he? Oh, thanks for the super, mate. Appreciate that. And I appreciate you. You're a legend. Yeah, the sounds are pretty fucked. This is what spiders sound like when they're jizzing. They're, they jizz very aggressively. Just do not watch spider orgies on YouTube, you know? If you don't want nightmares. Alright. Gotta get this last stick. We're good. Oh, he's really throwing the spider jizz at me now. House mine, I'm in Gryffindor. I always get Gryffindor. Uh, a few people last time requested I do the sorting on uh, on on a stream. I will uh, make sure that happens. I once got Hufflepuff, which I can see. You're scared to come to Australia because of the spiders. Yeah, that's fair. This one's a small spider. Learn the alphabet with Voldemort. What in the hell do you think I'm going to teach you about the alphabet? I could see myself being a Slytherin. Um, but he's just gonna keep coming. 
Let's see how many we can kill before this gets boring. Alright. Got a few of them. I think they're just gonna keep coming, aren't they? I think I've just gotta go and escape with the um, with the car. I love how they keep dropping chocolate frogs with me. Very generous. Yeah, these are small spiders. I got a spider that hangs out near my house that's bigger than a truck. It's not poisonous, but it just calls me a cunt every time I go to get milk from the shop. Just a bit nasty. That's just life in Australia. Alright, I'm getting bored of mowing these guys down. Let's jump down here. Let's make our grand escape. <laughs> Please destroy all the spiders. Not all the spiders are bad. Um, I'm pretty sure they haven't been other countries, but we got these spiders called Daddy Long Legs. They're really, they're not poisonous at all, and they actually keep off other spiders and other insects. They're, you want a couple of Daddy Long Legs in your house. The car screeched to a halt, and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut, and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously knew. After ten noisy, rocky minutes, the trees thinned and the car stopped so suddenly they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached the edge of the forest. Harry and Ron you have a cold. Safely oh, I'm back sorry to hear that, mate. Common room. What was the point of going in there? What have we found out? I'd like to know. That Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, don't, I thought they innocent. had them in the UK. I remember seeing them when I used to live in, in England. Um, I think they're a different kind of daddy long legs, but essentially the same thing. They're always up in your bathtub. Harry. Ron, I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. There has been another attack. Oh, no. Who? I am very sorry, but your friend, Miss Granger, was found petrified near the library. It's I have weird because she's to remain looking at Harry, moments. but she's talking to I Ron. I <laughs> also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry Ten to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no! What are we going to do? Aragog mentioned that last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? What if she's still there? Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girl's bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Why? He's the defense against the dark arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the dark arts. Okay, I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. Ginny will be alright, won't she, Harry? Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her, and then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. Uh, thanks for the follow. Tucci Music. Appreciate it, mate. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end of this. If we're uh, about to go into the Chamber of Secrets, I reckon we're getting getting close to the end game, aren't we? So we've got to go to the girls' bathroom now. Upper Hogwarts. Gotta love these loading screens, don't we?
Yeah, it's a bit weird how much time they all spend in the girls' bathroom. Um, even Hermione, she's in there a bit too much. She's got something going on with her guts if she's in there that often. Alright, what's going on here? So that injures me for some reason. Alright. Shizer. Okay. I see how to do this now. She's reading Hogwarts of History, yeah. Well, it's a good, uh, good book to read when you're taking a shit. Plenty of pages in there to, uh, to go for. Oh, you're joking me. Here we go. Alright. Thirty bots, every flavor beans. Have a great week. Uh have a great weekend, Yona. Yeah, this is not a great uh, mini game. <laughs> That's the only problem with these, uh... Ah! ah. Oh, mate. Ah. Alright, I've got to be a lot quicker this time. I've got to get that focus on. time is it in Australia? It's only 10 past 9, mate. Still early days. Oh, you're choking me. Alright, this is going to piss me off, I think. <laughs> I think I'm not going to try this mini game again. There we go. The classic ha uh, Harry in the hospital wing. Alright. Let's get the dark arts. Nah, fuck that. Let's just go Strange. find the Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. You're joking me. I guess we have to fucking do this mini game, all right? Let's see how we go. Ah, what? Really roped you in from a fair distance. the music in these games though they did a pretty good job at um emulating john williams style oh was i too late no we're good gonna have to be on me toes a bit better next oh what are you just led me straight back out again all right okay Oh, thanks, Sonic. Appreciate that, mate. Honestly, it's why I do this. Let us, you know, hearing how many uh, people these videos make laugh and make happy. Get so many nice comments from you all. all right, which way is the way to go? Okay. I think when this one opens up, it's the one we want to go for. Ah, you're joking. Ah. Right, so it goes there, it goes there, it goes left. Oh. Alright, let's see how we go. Am 
Am I going to do more affordable with Aussie? Um, yeah, if you all want them. I actually would love to just make a whole book like that. So if anyone knows anyone at Audible, let's make it happen. Ah, oh, fuck, I think I'm going to die again. Alright, let's see how we go. Night, mate. This, uh, this scene was not... This is only in the director's cut of the movie. This scene actually goes for 12 hours in the extended cut. Oh, it was too slow. You can self-publish to Audible. Interesting. I have contemplated just doing a like a read through of the scripts just with my voices. <laughs> Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. Yeah, I've given away my location by telling the time. I live in Melbourne. I'm happy to tell people that. Well, I don't actually live in Melbourne. East of Melbourne. Yeah, this is this is actually worse than the chess game. <laughs> this is not fun. Oh no, we're out. Here we go. Let's not do that again. Let's see if we can just go straight to the girls' bathroom another way. Another thing this game dropped is um, in the first game you have to save in those little floating books, but uh, this one, we don't. Now, that's the Hogwarts Hall. That one's the dungeons. Let's see if we can get there this way. The upgrade is next to the big hall. What's the upgrade? You're an East Melbourneer as well? Hell yeah. Well, you know, I live in the country. Um, so, not like East Melbourne. I live about an hour and 10 minutes east of Melbourne. I was in the city last night, so comedy gig didn't finish till like 11 o'clock and which means I didn't get home till like 12 30 what yeah the door is locked I can't get in there I probably I, I'm not really being a completionist on this run through I think I need to collect more of the beans and uh, what are the, the wizard cards in order to get the upgrades Is this the way? It would be cool to see a remake of this game. I think they could make it fun. Um, I just... Um, I don't re You'd probably have to expand it because... You know, people could finish it quite quickly. Um, and you'd have to do something pretty interesting with Hogwarts. My curiosity with Hogwarts uh, Hogwarts Legacy 2 is, uh, you know, we, we kind of have already explored Hogwarts. And that was, that was half of the fun of Hogwarts Legacy is getting to explore ho Hogwarts and all the secret uh, mysteries there. You need 500 beans for the upgrade. All right, well, we might select some. I actually think I need to go do that really fucking annoying um, mini game. Maybe we'll go outside and collect some beans, get an upgrade, see how we go. Chamber of Secrets is your favorite. Yeah, I like the Chamber of Secrets. Look, I think Christopher Columbus did a fantastic job with the first two films. 
Uh, he set the tone. He cast the right actors. Um, but I, I think um, Alejandro, is that his name? Uh, the one who directed the third movie, A Prisoner of Azkaban. That is my favorite film. Because I think Christopher Columbus, while he's, he made a very... Uh, yeah, he cast well. He, he designed the universe well. His directing is very safe. He doesn't uh, do... He's, tech, he's not a very technical director. Whereas if you look at Prisoner of Azkaban, there's some really interesting shots and um, ways to tell the story visually. Hello again, Porter. I'm still trying to get into the Quidditch team. Maybe this year I'll have some luck. Could you mention me to Oliver Wood? You are the Gryffindor seeker after all. Dude's just been standing outside the Quidditch pitch for like four weeks, just hoping to get on there. Yeah, I'm getting close to 500 beans, eh? So. Air of Slytherin or not, Harry, Quidditch is what's important. How long is this Ready going to last? Practice? Is that in regards to okay, how long Harry, am I going, going to stream for? We're going to practice your basic broom controls on a special training broom. Steer left and right to fly between the poles Who's and use Max the X Mofo? button to speed up. Try and finish the course before my stopwatch counts down. Excellent. I see you've been awarded gold wings for this section. Would you like to have another go? I don't think that's an unpopular opinion to like Chamber of Secrets. Training. It's a good movie. Let's see if you can fly through ten hoops generated by the snitch. Ready? Go! Yeah, Alfonso is great. That's it, Harry. That's it, Harry. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Concentrate. That's it, Harry. Not doing too well here. That's good. That's it, Harry. Not bad at all, Potter. For that performance, you've earned bronze wings. Would you like to try it again? You seem to have Harry needs to fly in the, on the Roomba. Let's see if you're any good at catching it. Yeah, I don't Run know what they've legs, done to Oliver then move Wood. Your hand he is over the fucked. And the X button <laughs> when it appears on screen. This is like all one just Fly one through mess. the wind, That's good. I wonder what That's the cast it, thought when they played these games. They're like, what do I look like that? Concentrate. That's it, Harry. That's it, Harry. How did we go? We missed one. Oh, it would it be amazing if uh, one of the uh, the cast had seen my. Uh... Excellent! For that performance, you've earned your gold wings. So I'm not sure if any of the cast have seen my videos, but I, Tom Felton like gets to tagged in my videos. All the time. In a Quidditch match, whichever team's seeker catches the golden snit, this often results in that seeker's team winning the match. Let's see how you what manage catching What does uh, COS stand for? Chamber of Secrets. Seeker. Ready? Three, two, one. Fly through the rings, Harry. That's good. That's it, Harry. Yeah, this seeker's fucking dog, aren't they? Good work, keep it up. Good work, keep it up. Good work, keep it up. That's good. That's good. That's it, Harry. I mean, they certainly improved That's the flying in Hogwarts Legacy, didn't they? <laughs> you don't have to fly through That's golden good. bum holes in the air. Good work. Actually, you do, keep don't you? <laughs> That's good. Oh, he's missed one. Try harder. Try That's harder. Jeez, he's getting That's tough. Good. Fuck. Right, he's cooking. Concentrate. Oh, here we go. 
missed it. Anyone remember this scene? The levitating hand that grabs the snitch scene? Excellent. For that performance, you've earned your gold wings. Hi, Josephine. Nice to, nice to see you in here, mate. 14 students. Would you like yeah. to try it again? Uh, no, thanks, mate. We're, uh, I think we did a good job. Three, two, one. What? Fly through the rings, Harry. I said no. That's it, Harry. That's good. All right, I guess we're doing this again. All the woods just gaslighting me now. That's it, Harry. That's good. Getting better, this guy. That's it, Harry. That's good. Do you think when VR gets good, that people will probably it, have an Harry. actual Quidditch league? That's it, Harry. That's it, Harry. That's good. Yeah, it's all, the jet. Good. The flying in this is so janky. All right. <laughs> You're nearly thirty. I'm thirty-eight, so don't 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 care what others think. If they Excellent. Go think wings. I like this. You really do show promise as a seeker, Harry. Well, I do like it, but yeah. You know what I'm saying. Would you like to try it again? No. Well done. You have completed Quidditch training. Would you like to try again? No. Good session, Harry. The Quidditch training doors are always open for you. All right. Do I get anything for that? You interviewed a school that had a Quidditch league. Do a Harry's first day joke. What do you mean, mate? <clears throat> Entrance to Hogwarts School. As if he doesn't know that by now. Yeah, mate, I'm 38. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I was born in 1986, believe it or not. See you later, Noxwave. Thanks for hanging out again. Um, good to see ya. Alright. That didn't do shit for us. Didn't open a door. All it really did was piss me off. I don't even look 30. Oh, well, that's nice of you. I hope that stays for a while. <laughs> If they do remake this game, I want you guys to all do a petition so I can actually voice one of the characters. That would be sick. 96. Nice. That's a good year to be born. Being born in the 90s, that was a golden era. Oh, thanks, Josephine. I appreciate that, mate. Have I seen the Sonic movies? I uh, I don't think I have. I used to watch the old Sonic anime, and um, there was a, a more kind of silly cartoon that I watched growing up. It was like uh, Sonic and Tails would always eat chili dogs, and Dr. Robotnik was kind of a, always hatching schemes to get them every week. Um, I enjoyed both of those, but I haven't watched any modern Sonic content. Oh, 
Oh man, if we have to do this fucking mini game to pass the game. 1991. Oh, Norway. Nice to see you here, mate. Born in the something year. I think I saw Sonic X. That's, um... I, I remember watching that one. Upper Hogwarts. Let's go to the... Wattle bird. You do have to do the minigame. Oh, no! All right. Well, let's... um. Let's play one more th other thing before we tackle that again, because that's just going to piss me off. <laughs> do we want to try and uh, do a little bit Brilliant. of uh, dueling here? You have 50 here? every favor beans. Have a famous Witches and Wizards card. Greta Catch Love. <sighs> Brilliant. You have 50 every favor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Yeah. Towards the old ridge. Brilliant. You have 50 every favor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Herpo's a foul. Brilliant. You have 50 every favor beans. Why don't they just give me every card? card? They can see how many beans Paracelsus. I have. Now, what do you get for collecting these cards? Sorry, Harry, but if you want more famous witches and wizards cards, then you'll have to find them hidden around Hogwarts. The Hufflepuffs die every year. To be honest with you, no one seems to keep track of the Hufflepuffs, so they could very much be getting killed en masse every year. And I don't think anyone would notice. unlock it from this angle you're joking me <laughs> all right had to self <laughs> have to destroy myself just to get out of that room you all love these old games all right oh we already beat that one well, well, well. A Gryffindor student wants a duel. <laughs> You're with. Come on through. All right, we've got another famous duel going on here. case is ridiculous I, I put my um I put Baza in that court case that was a very old video welcome but, Harry uh, Potter to the Ravenclaw dueling arena I am the Ravenclaw wizard dueling champion I hear you're a tough competitor but let me warn you young Harry very few have ever defeated me come on let's duel get ready Jewel. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's fun doing all the voices. Gotcha, ya bullshit. What's with these? Ah, oh, I think if I hit the mushrooms, it... Get ready. 
Oh, thanks, Liam. I appreciate that, man. And round two gets underway. Oh, a great move. Yeah, it's fun doing all the voices. I, I need to get a manager. I would love to voice an anime or an animated series. Expelliarmus! Whoa, you beat me, Harry. And look out, here goes my wand. You're not bad, are you? Here, have this famous witches and wizards card. Rowena Ravenclaw. All right, we did it. Now, time to go and tackle the dreaded cyclones. Well done, Harry. You're I'm an Australian impressed. as well, mate. Whereabouts you are you from? Emerge victorious. I shall be interested to see if you can beat the Slytherin dueling champion as well. Can I beat Hello, him? Hello, Harry. Back to sharpen your dueling skills, I'll warrant. Come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, USA, man. You do make good hamburgers. Welcome, Harry Potter. Uh, we've got a few Ravenclaw Aussies in here. Dueling arena. I am the Ravenclaw Wizard Dueling Champion. I hear you're a tough competitor. But let me warn you, young Harry. Very few have ever... He just Get beat ready. you, mate. Duel! Do I get more points for beating him a second time? He seems a bit hard this time. Moving like he's got a fucking crack in his system. Got you. Oh, and that's the first round to Potter. They do a Harry Potter big game over when I think you should play Snape. Get ready. Jewel. I mean, it would be amazing to play Snape in a video game. If they cast me, it would be very meta. But um, unfortunately, I think the official Harry Potter Wizarding World would have nothing to do with me. And probably rightly so. Great, All right, we beat him twice. Expelliarmus! This one's going straight to the Daily Prophet. And look out. Oh, Here creepy Colin. <laughs> New South Wales. Yeah, nice. I think we've got a few people from New South Wales in here. Well done, Harry. I'm impressed. You emerge victorious. I shall be interested to see if you can beat the Slytherin dueling champion as well. I, I don't think I got enough cards yet, do I? Well, well, well. A Gryffindor student wants a duel. All right, mate. Chill out. You're watching this on your 4K TV. Wow. How does my voice sound on the big TV? <laughs> Is it even more annoying? There's a 10 second difference between YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that's probably the plugin I'm using. It's um, it's, it's a free plugin in OBS Studio. Uh, it was the only way I could figure out how to do it. I know you can do it if you pay for like Streamlabs or something like that, but I didn't really like, I like how you can customize in OBS, so. All right, looks like we're gonna have to do this annoying mini game. You're watching on both. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. We got a few people here in Twitch. Say hi, Twitch watchers. All right, let's try this fucking uh, mini game again. All right, I appreciate that. I appreciate your confidence in me.
Oh, hi, Ilya. Oh, thanks for that, Angie. Appreciate that. Legend. Appreciate you spreading the love, Angie. Ah, you're joking me. Ah. All right. The good thing is that every time I do this, I get more beans, so... Can I shout out your friend Nick Gers? Hi Nick Gers. Oh man, I fell for that. <laughs> yeah, someone's gonna clip that. <laughs> yep, that's what I get for not paying attention. Cancelled. Ah, what? Ah. All right. Let's focus on this mini game so I don't fall for any more hijinks. <laughs> yep. This will be my last stream. I've been cancelled. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, thanks, Corey. You're a legend, mate. All right. It's going to open for me soon. Maybe I've got to go that one. It goes there, goes forward, left. <laughs> they probably just did it to clip me and then leave <laughs> alright we're here Samoan. Nice. <laughs> Magic Awaken. I was contemplating doing a few clips from Magic Awaken, actually. I haven't played enough of that game yet, though. <sighs> Where does it put me? Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around. All right, settle in. Why is it not letting me in there? Oh no! 
What's my thoughts on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? I don't get why it gets so much hate. I like it. Isn't that the way into the... What? Yeah, I've played Hogwarts Legacy, mate. It's good. Alright, settle in here. Joking me. I know I need to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is good. This could take a little while. I was just trying to uh, understand the pattern there. Yeah. Something tells me I'm going to see that hospital wing thing a few times here. These are the parts of these games I do not like. slow. Fair enough. You're joking me. in a circle that time. See you, Sonic. Good chatting, mate. Yeah. A lot of these old games are brutal, though. Like, they, they were just merciless. They, there was no difficulty setting. 
You don't get more beans. Has it knocked my bean count down? Should have gone. Oh. Ah. Mate, we love you too, Yona. Appreciate the support. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it was too early. So you gotta try run just before it opens. When you die, it slightly retweaks the pattern. Or it sets it back one. Ah, it's too early again. You were one cycle away. Will I make custom emojis for YouTube? Yeah, I will. Um for members I will uh, I will get them happening good call No you can't jump in this game it's uh you basically can only jump when you're near an edge All right this is the chess all over again by the way Anyone who remembers the chess saga will slowly see my sanity just deteriorate Thanks for the follow, mate. Damn it. I was looking at the chat when that was my chance to go. I think you're right on that one. Maybe I'm trying to go too quickly. Story of my life. Well, I'm glad the music's coming. I feel very tense right now. <laughs> Just missed it. I think it resets it back one square once you uh, like it back in the cycle once when you die. Gives you a chance to immediately jump back in. But... Oh, you're joking me. Yeah, see, it gives you a chance. Uh, uh, favorite spell? Probably Accio. That's, 
the best we've done. Oh, you're joking me. No. I should have gone right, shouldn't I? So I have to do both those squares. Okay. I think we got this this time. Let's see. Oh, no. What's that doing? <laughs> Alright, I got it this time. I promise. Use the force. Use the force, Luke. Come on. Please. Just a little bit. Just the tip of the force. <laughs> Strongest Harry Potter characters. It depends what you define as strength, I suppose. Like, obviously, Harry beats... Out, uh, he outlasts every, uh, basically, strong wizard. Um... But, you know, if you were talking stats, like he wouldn't have as good a stats as Dumbledore or Voldemort or Grindelwald. Probably goes Grindelwald, Dumbledore, Voldemort. I don't know who would be after that. Maybe Mad-Eye? Although he's just smart, he's not super powerful. Millisecond too slow. Once I get past the first one. Ah, oh, you're joking me. We did it! Look at that. Then I die with one of these knights right through the door. Alright, we're good. You motherfucker. Oh, did I just reset this whole thing? Why is the door locked? You're I joking me. Another way around. <laughs> That's brutal. All right, guys. That's fucked. <laughs> I know. All right, but I think we've got it now. I've got the pattern. We can do this. I've got to go left. What an absolute barnacle. This game is relentless. It's like, yeah, you, you can beat this, but then once you beat it, if you make the wrong choice going left or right, you got to do it all over again. This one just leaves us back, doesn't it? All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Apparently the um, the developers of the Tomb Raider game on PS1, like the guy who designed the puzzles, just wanted them to be as brutal as possible. Like he liked fucking with people. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Ilya, uh, you you missed a bit of a uh, a bit of a saga there. We beat it and then uh, took the wrong turn and had to do it again. All right. Oh, fuck. All right, let's get out of here. Got too little health to take on these statues. All right, we did it. Now, if this loops me back again, I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> All right, where do we jump? I've got to jump to that. suit of armor. Nintendo. Oh, he's walked out the bloody door. Have I seen House of the Dragon? Yeah, I love House of the Dragon. It was great. It it honestly had, it was honestly way better than I ever thought it would be. Because, I, and I think most people felt that way. Because obviously Game of Thrones didn't end in the, oh shit. Alright, we've done it. Uh, obviously Game of Thrones didn't end in the best way. Oh, thanks for the follow, Ollie. Um, so I think everyone was kind of expecting House of the Dragon to just be super mid. Um, but uh, yeah, I really liked it. But that being said... If uh, Matt Smith wasn't in the show, would it be as good? Maybe not. I don't know. Well, have we got a troll in here, do we? Two seconds, team. I'm just going to turn on this foot here. You still need to finish the series. I think it's good. You have to kind of... It requires a bit of... Um, it requires a bit of patience. Because there's there's a lot of logic gaps. With... Um, what do we do here? What do we got to do with this bloody cat? Um, yeah, there's a lot of logic gaps in um, in House of the Dragon that kind of require you to just go with the time leaps. Like, why are people having certain conversations like so many years later when they could have just talked to each other? But if you get past that, I think it's a really good show. Okay. Am I missing something here? Yeah, it's a big school. This is the government-funded uh, Hogwarts. No one actually goes to this one. There's a cat and some fucking whirlwinds on the floor. And about three other students. 
the hell are we supposed to do in there? Got a metal lover here. The cat is just there for fun. Well, it might be. The Snape and Miss, Jor uh, Miss Norris joke. Somebody's been shagging my cat. Uh, it wasn't me. Mr. Filch, what you and your cat get up to in your own private time is none of my concern. Nintendo! Burn a million! Where I passed the... Nah, that's just gonna reset everything. Do I have to kill these fucking knights? Fire blades. I think uh, the uh, auto moderator is uh, taking your oars as uh, as spam, but I I see what you're at. I appreciate it. I don't have to fight the knights. I guess we do have to go back because there's fuck all to do in this room. see anything up there. Can't activate any invisible platforms anywhere. Next to the door that resets you, there is another door. Ah, oh, so that door will be unlocked now. All right. I'm gonna trust you on this one. This could just be one big troll. But uh, you have my trust, friend. Yeah, it is a little bit like a Zelda dungeon. You can tell they were very much inspired by Zelda making these games. Which door's which? Ah, here we go. What's in here? There we are. Oh, Mr. Potter, I I'm rather busy at the moment. Professor, I have some information for you. I think Moaning Myrtle was the girl who was killed by the monster 50 years ago. She may know where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Uh, uh, thanks, Emily. Uh, well, okay, if you're sure. Uh, I mean, I've never, like, I'm a Zelda fan and I still haven't played um, Tears of the, of the Kingdom. Uh, so, uh, I probably should play that, so... If you want to see me play Legend of Zelda, oh, it's you. put thumbs what up you in the want? chat. I promised do I would do a bonus stream this died? week, um, and I'm going to do Resident Evil oh, 2 on PS1 for dreadful. that bonus stream. It so uh, keep an eye on uh, community posts on YouTube, and uh, 
the schedule on Twitch, and you will see when I'm going to do that. I haven't popped it in yet. I didn't it here because Alejandro was teasing me. Oh, Wind Waker is one of my favorites. I love the Wind Waker. I didn't get to play the remaster, um, but that was on Wii U. Did they really? Did they re-release Wind Waker for Switch? A different language. Thanks, Vortec. Appreciate you watching on Twitch. All right, we got a few thumbs up. Few people would How? like to watch Zelda. No idea. Where did you see the eyes? By the Sphinx. Hell yeah. All right. Well, if Look, you want to see me play Zelda, turning into snakes. Um, try saying something I'm almost done time. with this game, so okay. I'll try. <laughs> we can play Zelda next if okay. you want. You can see me experience it for the first time. I've avoided spoilers. I've, uh, I have I'll yet to first. play it. Well, I played the first one just before my daughter me. was born. So I'll be off. And I just we'll be haven't right behind you, Harry. been able to commit be over better. 150 hours okay. to another video game since. I think you can get Twin Twilight Princess on Switch, can't you? I, I think it's it's not a very it's just the exact same game though. Right. Does everyone remember this scene in Harry Potter where he slides down a big uh, stone bum hole? Oh, Ron's here. Harry, I'm about to shit myself. Watch out below. Oh. All right, there's a bunch of thumbs up going here, so looks like we're going to be playing Zelda soon. I better go bloody grab a copy. <laughs> Got to go buy it. Hopefully it's on special. Okay. This has really weird mechanics. <clears throat> if you want to steer the corner correctly, you have to pull backwards on the uh, joystick. Oh, you're joking me. All right. Come on, Harry. We can we can get out of the uh, stone bum hole. This is just Harry giving like a magical colonoscopy to someone. Like the big reveal at the end is like he's just been giving Ron a colonoscopy this whole time. That's what the Chamber of Secret is. It's Ron's bum hole. Oh shit. Oh no, you joke me, he's stuck. Yeah, I think that le these levels would be fun if the controls weren't so janky. Fuck! Alright. Fuck yeah. Ron's bum hole is going to be very clean after we've gone through it this many times. So. How far from the end of this game? Is it? Who, who's played this game? How far are we from the end? go there's the end of the bum hole oh 
Oh, you're a legend, Angie. Thanks so much, mate. Appreciate you and all your donations. I you have not lost it, Harry. You have lost it. it Your bum holds virginity. Come adventure. over here. See? I shall go back oh, to school. Tell he's a PDF file. And that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh no. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. Thanks, I'm Logan. Sorry, Appreciate boys, that, mate. But it is for the best. All right. Ah! We're fighting Lockhart now. Ah! 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 This reminds me of the time I fought a vampire with a huge nine inch penis. Oh, Did I ever tell you about the dinosaur I fought with three bum holes? I don't feel like uh, Lockhart would be, even be this capable. Now I wonder if I can use my secret move of piss off Snake when we get to uh, the... Uh... Ah, he got me. Yeah. Just discovered that was a one hit kill. Better to just cop one of those, uh, cop one of the white ones in the face than get the green one. So, we've learnt that now. Oh, what? Oh, you can see the silver play button. Yeah, it's, uh, it's there hanging up. It's next to me Toy Story poster. And, uh, on that side, I've got a Terminator 2 poster. Anyone who follows me on Letterboxd would know that uh, Toy Story is one of my favorite films of all time. It's just so good. Now, does that thing track you? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. We're good. there. Got him. Obliviate that, you can't. Alright, we're almost there, people. Normally, I only stream till 10.30, which would be another 10 minutes, but Mom, I reckon we're pretty okay? close. Let's try and knock yes, this I'm on the head. Here. What are we going to what do, do you now? reckon? Well, we can't get through this lot. It'll take ages. When There's do I think I'll get the golden chooses. play button? I mean, I'd love I'll one. Um, you, okay, Harry. Uh, I'll start trying to ship some of this rock so. I mean, I'm, that's my goal. See if see I could you. get one this year, that would be awesome. Um, but I think, uh, based off of how my subs have been going up, maybe beginning of next year might be more likely. But that's the goal. We'll see. I might not get there. Some people never get there. I've still got 420,000 of you guys in me uh, on me YouTube. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. But I would love that gold play button. Let me kill you. Incendio! 
Is anyone else in here a YouTuber or a um, streamer? Does anyone else make content? I'm seeing more and more members in the chat ah. these days. I appreciate you all. That's great. As I've said before in previous streams, all the all the supers Nintendo. and all the um, memberships Nintendo. I get, it's all going towards me buying another computer. Um, the goal is to get a better computer uh, so I can make more 3D content. I'm teaching myself Blender at the moment. And I want to teach myself um, the Unreal Engine. And once I learn those two things, you're going to see my content take a big steep tick upwards. My goal is to essentially be able to make a fully fledged TV show, animated show, like South Park, where I make an episode really quickly. It'll be a full 10, 20 minute episode and release it fairly regularly. Um, I'm trying to work on a system to get that to happen. The computer is the first step. And I've got a few little tricks up my sleeve that I think I'll be able to do it. Um, so that's the goal. We're, as to set, uh, <laughs> as to how soon that happens, we will see. Lost tunnel. All right. You are embarrassed about your bids. Uh, oh, thanks, trustworthy. Um, Gotten Cabin. Oh, Caleb, don't be embarrassed, mate. You know, if, have you ever heard the, the iceberg kind of um, philosophy? Social media is a bit of an iceberg in that, you know, when we watch a Mr. Beast or a, you know, a whoever else you bloody watch. I don't know why he's the only YouTuber that's coming to mind right now. But um, whenever you watch one of their videos, you're seeing them after they've made, you know, thousands of videos or spent 10,000 hours making it. Um, you know, you forget that when they first did their videos, they were shit too. Like, you watch my first videos... It took me two, three years of just making content non-stop. I think I was making a video every day. No one gave a fuck. <laughs> and then just uh, one day it, it all clicked and everyone started watching. So um, the blessing of doing it um, at the start is you kind of get to fail. Um, you get to fail quietly. What the fuck? Um, yeah, the blessing of doing it at the start is you get to fail quietly. Nowadays, when I make a shit video, hundreds of thousands of people see it. <laughs> or if I fuck up or say a word, uh, um, accidentally uh, say something in the chat, like before, <laughs> people see it. <laughs> but, um, you know, it is what it is. So don't give up. That's, that was my long-winded uh, pep talk. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, no, I'm done for here, aren't I? Oh. All right. I do not remember this part of the movies or the books. So you're doing Roblox uh, video edits? That's nice. My suggestion to you, uh, and you can take this or leave this, but this is based on experience. If you want to get views on something, Roblox is a very heavily saturated, like Minecraft, Roblox. There's lots of people that do videos on that. And I'm not saying not to do a video on Roblox, but what I would say is, answer this question yourself is like why what what will make someone watch my roblox video over all of the other roblox videos that already exist so if you can find an interesting kind of hook 
or you know something different that you're doing to all the other Roblox people. But um, you'll be able to carve out a little niche for yourself. So just figure out what it, how you're going to do Roblox differently to other people, and um, you'll get views. Like you might not get them straight away, but you keep getting better and better. You'll you'll get views. That's the way you're actually supposed to do that. Thanks, Sam. Good hanging out, mate. Fuck. Is he coming this way? Oh, you're welcome, Caleb. Honestly, you know, uh, a lot of people see YouTube as like a finite game. Like if someone else succeeds, it's going to take views away from you. Uh, YouTube's awesome because everyone can succeed. Everyone can have their own little niche and everyone can do well, you know, like um, just keep at it, man. So we've basically got to do all of these rooms. Yeah, this wasn't in the movie for a very good reason because it would have been fucking boring. Oh, the piss off snake is coming. Don't you worry. Someone sold you a house for $5,000? Yeah, houses for five thousand dollars definitely uh, should be wary of that. Nintendo. 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 I once had a guy sue me Nintendo. for um, three and a half thousand dollars. very anxious little chihuahua we got her from a rescue shelter and um, this guy came up, up to me um, uh, up, up to my partner and I asked to pat it and we said no you can't pat our dog she doesn't like to be patted um, and he said nah I'm really good with dogs we said nah not this dog you can't pat her so he pats her and then he gets bitten um, and then he sued us three and a half thousand dollars. So it's a bit shit. So I can sympathize with losing money to a scam. What am I supposed to do here, by the way? Is that supposed to go somewhere or? Nintendo. Or do I hit it into this hole maybe? Nintendo. There we are. Now we jump into this bum hole in the ground. All right. What editing slash uh, browser should we use? Um, if you're just starting out as an editor, I would say CapCut is probably the easiest and has the simplest tools to learn. If you want to learn something that is has a lot of uh, uh, cheap, uh, like uh, do, I use DaVinci. You can get DaVinci for three, and then there's a pro version, which isn't really that expensive. There's no subscription. Um, it's yours once you pay the full price. Uh, but the free version basically has 80% of everything you need. Um, so if you want to be kind of serious about um, uh, editing, I would say try DaVinci. There's a couple of YouTubers you can check out. One's called Mr. Alex Tech. Um, and the other one is called Casey Ferris. Both of them basically taught me how to use DaVinci. I used to use Final Cut. 
but Da Vinci has a lot more cool uh, animation features, VFX features. <laughs> Uh, see you later, Otter. Yeah. Yeah, well, it is also a shame when people don't control their dogs as well. Like, if their dog should be on a leash and they don't have it on a leash, that's super annoying. That song sound... Uh, that, that spell... Listen to him say it again. It sounds like he's saying murder millions. So, like... I think he's going full psychopath now because we had to do that whirlwind challenge too many times. Murder millions! Murder millions. <laughs> There's nothing up there. <laughs> Wait, what? Murder millions. Murder millions. Oh, there we go. Do I have to beat this knight? Maybe I have to beat this knight before I can do anything. All right. I think we've got to beat these two knights before we can do anything here. Let's do it. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he's just making his own prophecy. He's like, I'm going to murder millions. You know, like, uh, this is the uh, price of being the chosen one. I think, I'm, uh, did I ever tell anyone my, like, uh, the Harry Potter show that I wanted to make? Like, when they were basically saying they wanted to make a, um, a, uh, Harry Potter show for HBO. I had an idea I wanted to pitch. Now they're just doing a reboot, which I'm a bit upset about because there's so many more options than doing a reboot. There's, it's such an interesting universe. Um, I might make a video on it because I'm never going to get to make it now. Thanks for the sub, Cole. Oh, thanks for the follow. I got a hundred points for Gryffindor. That puts me at negative forty trillion. Uh, Snape. Snape is always uh, de deducting those points. Come here, you dog. Motherfucker. Oh Jesus. Where you saw an open door? That wouldn't surprise me. I often just miss doors. Pro guy, nice. Are you an Aussie too? That would make sense. You're probably a similar time zone to me. Now, do I have to do all of this again? Because that's going to be annoying. Just want to fight the fucking snake, guys. All right. We either tell it to piss off or we use a magpie. That's how we get rid of the snake. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I think it would have been... Like, I'll still watch the reboot, but it's there's so many better stories you could have told within this universe. Like, I think the one everyone is very obvious that would have been an interesting story is the young Snape kind of living his dual life between the Death Eaters and trying to maintain his cover. Like, that, just make that. Or the Marauders, you know... If, and or you could just go away from the main characters like Hogwarts Legacy proved that you can make another story. A um, two seconds, everyone. I will be back. I am busting for a piss.
back. Thanks for your patience, everyone. That's what I get for drinking a giant coffee before I stream. I was about to piss myself. I thought, oh, I can hold on till I finish this game. And then <laughs> it's like, no, nah, this is looking like it's going to take a while. Hey, Asriel, how you doing, mate? is with these rats. What's annoying about these games is there's no block. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Incendio! Incendio! My Pokemon, how you doing, mate? Shit! Alright, we're back. Okay. We've raised one of them. This fucking knight. He's on roids. Can't fucking get the camera to turn around. <laughs> it's so annoying. Alright. Fuck. Alright, I need to lock onto you. There we go. We're good now. Oh, you bastard. There's a potion you can prepare. All right, that's a good idea. That's a lot of points from TikTok. Those fucking rats. Walter White is back. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right I am. There's a potion at the start as well. Okay, interesting. All right. Oh, yeah, I can see it now in the corner. All right. Fuck. Jude, how you doing, mate? Adam the Gamer, how you doing there on Twitch? Still got a few peeps on Twitch. Twitch? 
Fuck, no wonder no one watches me on Twitch. I call it Twitch. Yeah, it's um, we it's weird that TikTok is getting banned. Um, I don't know. So basically, all it means, uh, and I could be totally misunderstanding this, but I think it means that if TikTok doesn't sell to a non-Chinese company, then it will get banned. Because um, I think the problem is that every company in um, in China essentially has a representative of the Chinese Communist Party working for the company, which means that anything the company does, all of their data is basically open to the Chinese Communist Party to do whatever they like with, essentially. So if you're on um, TikTok, uh, look at the terms and services because uh, they actually track your eyeballs, they track... Um, they, they track you when you're outside of the app. Um, so the American government uh, kind of like a bit worried about what they're going to do with all that information. Um, and if you don't think that that's a bad thing, well, let's just say that even a bad algorithm for shopping. So there was a case where a girl who was 15 and just based off of her search history, they could tell that this girl was pregnant and she didn't even know she was pregnant. Um, and uh, That was just based off search history. They could tell just based off the way she was using the internet. So imagine what they, uh, someone could do with your eye movements, uh, you know, the way you, what you stop and look at on um, TikTok or Instagram. And it's not just TikTok that does this, it's all the platforms, um, yeah. So I think the fact that they're, they're cracking down on this stuff is good. Um, I don't want them to ban TikTok, I like TikTok. I just, yeah, don't want them to steal people's data. Yeah, no. <clears throat> it's not just TikTok, as I said. Google is bad. They steal people's information in other ways. Um, Google isn't as... I think Facebook is the worst of all. They essentially... Their whole business model is selling your data to other companies. That's why um, Zuckerberg's kind of not very well liked. Google is useful. Um, I mean, look, you know, Facebook is useful too. Like, a lot of people have businesses on Facebook. Um, I just wish they would have another business model than selling people's data to like data brokers. You know, like when you get those random number calls on your phone, like that's all people selling your number to like data brokers. Not in incognito mode, yeah. I think I broke a few people's brain with that revelation, uh, saying that incognito mode basically does fuck all. Nothing wrong with data nerds, as long as they're using the data responsibly. Hey, Lazy Bones, how you doing, mate? Thanks, Muhammad. Yeah, we're getting there. We're, we're pretty close. Yeah, the call centers are fucking annoying. I had the scariest one the other day. So um, I was telling my friend this last night. Um, we're looking at getting my daughter a trampoline for her birthday. And... Um, I'd surfed on all these websites and I get this 
this random call from this guy is like, are you Mark? Nintendo. I was like, yeah, dude. And he goes, are you looking for a trampoline? I'll give you a discount. I'll give you a discount. I was like, dude, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and how do you know I'm looking for trampolines? He's like, you were on this website, weren't you? And I was like, he wasn't even being discreet about where he got the information from. He just was full on stalking me online. Anyway, I hung up and blocked that number. It was ridiculous. Nintendo! Nintendo! Why won't you die? Has anyone seen uh, Austin Powers where that girl just won't die? The fall will kill us both, Powers! Murder millions! Nintendo! Nintendo! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Gotcha, you motherfucker. That was the guy that shanked me last time. We got him. Murder millions! Oh no, I'm on the wrong shelf here, aren't I? Yeah, no, it was crazy. I couldn't believe that. And it was so, like, outrageous of the guy to assume that I would be cool with the fact that he just called me out of the blue. Fuck that guy. I hope he's watching now. Fuck you, man. Oh, the Austin Powers movies are great. I would love him to make another one. But that being said, I mean, I watched The Love Guru, and that wasn't great, was it? And neither was his new Netflix show. Oh, fuck. Motherfucker. How about no shot? You just, you don't get it, do you? Oh, you motherfucker! Yeah, Love Guru sucked dong. What are the next houses gonna be? Uh, I've got a few ideas, but I'm not gonna release them f for a little while. We've, we've had a few of them. There's gonna be a few more different videos before we get to the next one. Harry Potter me meets Katniss Everdeen. Incendio! I've done, um, uh, Baza has been Incendio! in the uh, Hunger Games universe, but uh, Harry Potter has not met Katniss Everdeen yet. So good. Ah. All I wanted was sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. Nintendo. I have a gun in my room. I'll go Nintendo. get it now. We can kill him together, like father Nintendo. and son. Nintendo. Hell yeah. All right, I think we've got this this time, all right? Yeah, one million dollars. <laughs> I love, um, I love Will Farrell's role in those movies as Mustafa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still alive, but I'm very badly burnt. So good. It's beginning to smell like almonds. Uh, yeah, the Hogwarts Legacy mod. That um YouTube video, Harry Potter with Guns, is just so good. Whoever edited that is an absolute genius. 
Yeah, well, uh, there may be some more PS1 crossovers coming. We'll, we'll see. The next video I'm working on, Harry Potter crosses over with another video game franchise. So you'll have to wait and see what that's going to be. Remember that time I did Pengu? I've done a few Pengu videos. Oh, bloody hell, Pengu. You're shit in the toilet again. You clogged it up with your penguin shit. Making these potions just reminds me of playing the ocarina in uh, The Legend of Zelda. Alright. Pingu was amazing. It still is a pretty good show. What bot is yapping to? Play Zelda next uh, after this game. We're gonna we're gonna play some fucking Tears of the Kingdom. It's been a while. I'm probably still terrible at taking on those Lionels. <laughs> fucking hard. By the time I finished um, Breath of the Wild, my character was so geared up that I just I beat Ganon so easy. Um, but I would still struggle on those Lionels. It was insane. They're so overpowered. I don't even think I need to kill these guys. I think I've just got to get to the other side of the room. Alright. Do Yoda meets Dobby. Ooh, Dobby! Go to Hogwarts, you must not, Harry Potter. That sounded more like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I don't know what that was. A VR chat, yeah. Um, there's another dude who we kind of mutually follow each other. His name's like Mr. Casita, I believe, on YouTube. He does a lot of VR chat. Um, he does a lot of VR chat videos. Um, that's kind of his thing. Um, so I don't want to steal that from him. Azriel, welcome to the Members Club, you legend. Thanks for joining. Appreciate all you guys. guys to stand on it, maybe. Motherfucker. Right, I think I just gotta beat them. Alright. 
Jimmy Depp Wonka. You are official. You're officially in the club, mate. Mr. Potter, you are late for potions. One quadrillion points from a Gryffindor. Oh, piss off, Dobby. Oh, that sock's not mine, I swear. at the start. Well, let's do that one once we, um... Wingardium Leviosa! Let's do that one once we braze the third platform. Wingardium Leviosa! I think I need a big one. Mate, I'm honoured to have you as a member. Let's do a big one. Nintendo! Wingardium Leviosa! Oh, what? Wingardium Leviosa! Have we just got to do Wingardium all of these? Wingardium Leviosa! There we go. Man, we had to pound on that bum hole hard to get in, didn't we? Ah, oh, fuck these cunts again. Why does Harry sound like young Ron? Oh, look, man, I, I'm a 38-year-old man. I can only make my voice go so high. It's Leviosa. Oh, in the PS1. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just bad voice acting in this game in general. You're 38 too, Azriel. Oh, nice. Were you born in 96 as well? Thirty, thirty-one. 31. Oh, this is great. Got a bunch of people in their 30 in here. In their 30s. Oh, for God's sake. There we are. Alright, we've got a 30s club going on in here. Did I say 96? I meant 86. <laughs> All right. Let's go get... You're 24. Nice. Who's the youngest in the chat? Got a wide range, age range here. You're 6,000. He's over 6,000! Where the fuck was the potion? Here it is. Fifteen? Yeah, you're probably the youngest in here, mate. Good on you. Oh, 
I like that we have a mixed uh, mixed group of people in here. That's sick. A Snape Metal Gear uh, reference. Yeah, massive age range. Big, bigger age range than I than I would have thought. Twenty seven, nice. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's, um... I feel... It's a weird one. Age is a weird one. I, I feel like when you're in your teens and early 20s, you, you really feel the leaps in age. But once you pass about 25... I know this is going to sound like super hippie and bullshit, but um, I feel like age is really just in your head. You know, like you, you're as old as you feel, and and the people who always whinge about being old, they just they just age quicker. You know, they they're always stressed. Can I do my Snape impression? I don't know. You tell me if I can do it. You're 22, fighting gamer. Nice. Here we go. Help, Tom! Ginny, She's OD'd! Ginny, don't be dead! She Please hasn't OD'd. She's I am stealing her it's soul. Just. Ginny's been writing in the diary for months, pouring out her Non-family friendly content creator. I'm I'm very honored. Stronger, until I had enough power to start pouring a little I'm going of to steal Ginny's soul. Ginny Weasley because opened she the has of red pubes. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and filch's cat. I'm afraid Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. One day, I hoped to lead another in my footsteps to finish the work of Salazar Slytherin. I knew you were on the trail of Slytherin there, so I led Ginny down here to wait. Tom Riddle was my filthy, non-magical father. Because I'm Voldemort, Easy you wanker. Harry. I am Lord Voldemort. I'm gonna have a little bit of and drink now, of water Harry, while I, I do this. Teach you a little lesson. You'd be surprised how croaky your voice gets after talking for a few hours. Here we go. We're at the big bloody fight. Piss off, snake! Well, that was easy. <laughs> So this is what Dumbledore sends his great protector. A packet of Johnnies and a Mars bar. Alright, so we can only get him with his mouth open. We got this. Can't get him when he's firing poison. Apparently. The Godric Gryffindor sword. Godric Gryffindor sword. What the fuck is going on here? I can't move backwards. Put it, put it back in him. Oh Jesus. Alright, I see how to do this now. This is like Ghostbusters, they gotta fucking cross the streams. You see that red button, kid? Don't ever, ever push the red button. Hard to actually get it back in his face. Ah, fuck. Ah, 
tried to hit it just before his face, but I uh, just before it hit me, but it ended up uh, not working. Does anyone remember this scene in the movie where the snake has laser beams from each tooth? Riddle's just fucking standing. Oh, you gotta aim for the fangs, do you? Okay. Ah, now it's all. Good call. You only really get like a like a second or two to actually fucking get this guy. I think I, we're all good with American accents because we all grow up with American TV. I feel like if you grew up with more um, Australian content, you would be able to do an Australian accent better. What's going on with you, mate? What is, with all these W's? Music's so epic. Fuck, that bite looks like it would hurt, doesn't it? Look at his, like, thin tongue. after this, and they're expensive nowadays. We all want laser teeth. Imagine the the world would be a better place if we all had laser teeth, wouldn't it? Alright. No! Gotcha, you bastard. Piss off, snake. The dentist is free in the UK. Fuck, I forgot about that. It's expensive here, and I bet you it's even more expensive in America. <sighs> I mean, he looked fine a second ago. I don't know why he's bloody uh, fainting now. There was silence. Silence except for the steady drip, drip of ink still oozing from the diary. The basilisk venom had burnt a sizzling hole right through it. Shaking all over, Harry pulled himself All right, up. I think we did it. His I think that's it. I think that's the game. I think we beat it. By flu powder. Ginny drew a great shudder in gas. Yeah, 500 just it to get your me. teeth one. You're not, Harry, you're but not I wrong. I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me. He took me over. Harry told her that it was all right. That Riddle and the Basilisk were finished. Come on, Ginny, let's get out of here. They were flying upwards, and before he'd stopped enjoying the ride, it was over. All three of them were hitting the wet floor of moaning Myrtle's bathroom. 
Harry told them everything. He told <laughs> I love it when people quote their, these things with Our their mates. That's great to hear. That he was Look at Hagrid's hair in this one. He looks like he's just been to like a luxurious hairdresser. Dresser? Dresser. How he had Fran Drescher. He's been to Fran Drescher's house. The victim, and that the entrance to the basilisk's lair what is a quid? Of secrets, I don't know, mate. In her bathroom. Do you mean squib? Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as a 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. Later, Appreciate that. Harry managed to release Dobby from the slavery of Lucius Malfoy. For it Dobby was looks Lucius super Malfoy sus here. Planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And as for Harry, oh, quit, yeah, well, yeah. Once as again, in for money, yeah, yeah. Quid is the boy who a pound, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Dobby was uh, shining his knobby. That's what was going on there. Finally, let's see who will win this year's House Cup. Fran Drescher? She's like the head of the, um, the Film Actors Guild or something like that. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff? Slytherin. Gryffindor. Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Gryffindor. Hi, Boomer boy. How you doing, mate? <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, the nanny. Look at this. We beat it. All right. We're done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, thanks for putting up with me with that fucking whirlwind level. Oh, my God. I was pissing myself off doing that. So you stuck with me. I appreciate it. All right. We, so everyone's voted. We're going to play some Legend of Zelda next time. And um, I'm going to do a bonus stream this week uh the goal is to do it tomorrow morning same time uh and play resident evil 2 for ps1 and i will get a copy of the legend of zelda and i will hook it up and we will try and play that on friday if i can't get it working we'll play something else but i will get i will get zelda and we will fucking play it i promise See you, Yona. I haven't played the Game Boy Color version. I, I looked into it. I don't think it'll be a fun game to play. But I do, I, I want to play, um, I want to play through Pokemon Red, Blue or Yellow on, on a stream at some stage. Um, I think that'll be fun. But yeah, good hanging out with everyone. Uh, I think we said we we're going to do Tears of the Kingdom because I haven't played it yet. So, um... Let's do that. But I'm keen to play an old one. We can um, we can play a classic Zelda one day as well. My dog's name is Zelda. Oh, thanks, Azriel. Thanks for everyone who's in the members. Appreciate you. And thanks for everyone who, who come and hung out. Um, all the peeps on Twitch. I'm, uh, I'm new to Twitch. I appreciate you joining me there. The fuck are these things? All right. I'm going to log off, but uh, peace, love you all. Um, yeah, I sh I'll be on tomorrow morning playing Resident Evil 2, so come hang out.